Hello. In this lesson, I'll show you how to build a simple website using Amazon AWS's S3 service. Using this service, you can literally build a website and provision it in the cloud in minutes. So let's go ahead and get started. But before we get started, what exactly is S3? S3 is Amazon's simple storage service. It's designed to be a flexible storage service that's uh, designed to be highly reliable and flexible. Users get worldwide access to their files and access to upload and download files that can also be automated. Storage prices are tiered so that infrequent slow speed storage can be done much cheaper than the normal tier. Uh, you get five gigabytes of storage that's provided with the free tier for one year. It also has limits for web page usage for the free tier as well, but unless you're building a website that has tons of traffic, uh, you're not going to run into these limits. So, uh, so to build your website, you need to do the following things. Step one is to create some simple HTML files for your site. At a minimum, you'll need two files, an index file and an error file. Step two is to log into Amazon and create a new S3 bucket. Step three is to upload your files. Step four, you have to set some permissions to the site to allow web browsing. And step five, just give it a test to make sure that it works okay. So for our example, here's the listing of the, the simple HTML files I created for this exercise. You can create this in uh, Word or a text editor, it doesn't really matter, just two simple files. So just duplicate the structure of these two files. So now let's get going and uh, do our demonstration. Okay, so now I'm going to navigate to the Amazon AWS console and I'll go ahead and log into my account. <clears throat> Once I've logged in here, now I'll navigate to the S2 service. You'll notice that it's also under the recently used services as well. But now I'm at Amazon S3, and the first thing I'm going to do now is I'm going to create a bucket. So I'm going to go ahead and enter a bucket name for my new storage bucket, and uh, it'll check to make sure you, you've uh, not used that name. And now I'm going to select uh, a region that's close to me, Ohio, is actually where I live. And uh, I'll go ahead and select the defaults for no versioning. And in this step, I'm going to set read permission for everyone for both the object and the object permission. So that way when we have our website, everybody can read files in this bucket. So I'm going to go ahead and create the bucket. And now you'll see uh, Destin Learning Test 4. So now I'm going to upload the HTML files that we created in the previous step. So there's an error file and an index file, really the only two files you need for a basic website. So I'm going to go select next. And again, I'm going to manage the permissions on these to make sure that everybody can read these files, um, which is necessary for a website. I'll select next. And I'll take the defaults on the storage classes and go ahead and upload the files. So quick and easy, the files are up there. So now I'm going to go ahead and look at the properties of my bucket and notice that there's a setting for static website hosting. I'm going to go ahead and select that. And I'm going to select that I want to use this bucket as a standard website. So I put in the two files for both the index and the error. So I'm going to put in the names of the two files that we uploaded and I'll click Save. So the, the check mark indicates that it's now serving and if I click on the URL, there's our website. So now if I want to test this out, I'll go ahead and put in the full name of our index file and I go ahead and type that in and there's no change because it brings up the right file. But now to test out our error page, I'm going to put in a, a just a one after the file name and there we go, it brings up our error page as well. So super simple to uh, create a website in Amazon S3. Basically all you have to do is create a bucket and then uh, set a few permissions and off you go. So I'm going to go ahead and sign out. You can see how quick and easy this process is to create a website with Amazon S3. This really is a great service offered by Amazon. If you're to set this up for a real website, however, you'd want to set up a domain name for this site and set up some logging. I'll show you how to do this in a future lesson, so thank you so much, and I'll see you in the next lesson. Goodbye.